Hi guys! I'm going to start this video off with an apology. It has been a hot minute, I am 100% aware. I didn't plan on being gone for as long as I was. In fact, I didn't plan on being gone really at all. Um, but unfortunately, life just got crazy busy last year and also the beginning of this year and um, happy March! <laughs> I'm really late with that, but I'm glad to see you guys are back. I hope everyone's well. So, what I'm going to do today is, I didn't think I was going to do more of these, but I found something and I became very, very excited. That is... Bum, 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 bum. I forgot what it's called. A World of Wizardry Box. I am so professional. <laughs> now, I bought this a while ago, and just as a quick heads up, hopefully I should be able to do two more of these. She says, really pray she can get them out on time because I bought another one that's very limited box only has a thousand of them in existence apparently that cost me slightly more than I wanted to pay but I'm on a very big Harry Potter hype train at the minute so going a bit crazy uh, and also I've got another subscription box for the same thing this one I've forgotten I believe this is the February box I'm hoping that's February it's in here somewhere but anyway I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to get into the video <laughs> Okay, so just before we open the box, I just want to say the detailing on this is amazing and also we've got each little Hogwarts house. So we've got Gryffindor and Hufflepuff and I'm just going to show you guys the back because it's in the front. That's just sort of vaulting, so there's nothing interesting there. But then we've got, I believe, if I remember me rightly, that's Ravenclaw, that's Slytherin. Yes, I did it! And then you can't see it that well now that I've opened the box, but there's a tiny pair of hands just right here, sort of trying to creep out, so that's why I think this is sort of new Scamander's case. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just open the box for you guys to see exactly what, you, what I saw when I opened it for the first time. Now I have opened this, I have seen what's inside, but I put basically everything back exactly the way it was. So that way it's basically um, the same thing. There was something I'm going to put in a picture for you guys, because you can't see it, but there's a little lock here. It isn't the big front of the case, but around the lock there was a word that was like, no muggles allowed. I don't know if that's from, because this looks like Newt Scamander's briefcase. I haven't seen Fantastic Beasts, so um, yeah, I'm getting towards that. At the minute I'm on book three on Audible. And so I'm also getting through the Harry Potter books, but let's stop me talking and get, actually get into this. Okay, so the first thing you basically see when you open the box is it's like this. Now, my paper is yellow because for the box you can choose a size of tops and also a house. I've done the Pottermore quiz and I am a Hufflepuff and I'm a little bit obsessed and I'm very, very proud to be a Hufflepuff. I'm just so happy. But the first thing you guys get when you open this is a pack of six um, sort of colouring pages. I'll show you guys the back so you can see all the pages. Just put the box down for a second. But it's Harry Potter, um, I think that's Nagini with Death Eaters? No, with the Death Eater Mark. Um, there's Harry Potter being chased by a dragon. And there's all the houses with the crest. I'm pretty sure that's Buckbeak with Harry. And I've also forgotten the last one. Oh, the Hogwarts Express. <laughs> So these I've kind of opened, I'm very excited because I love sort of just relaxing and colouring. So these will be very very good with my pencils or my fine liners, whatever I choose. And this I'm very very happy about. Now, once you finally open the paper, I'm just going to pull that up. Oh it is February, yeah you remembered right. I've got the little booklet in here. This was like the last thing I found at the bottom of the box. But I'll show you guys everything that comes in the box and also this stuff all has prices with it, which makes my life so much easier <laughs> because I'm terrible at remembering things. And so with this box, I got two tops. I got a Dobby top and I got a Death Eater top. The Death Eater top I'm kind of living for because I just love how bright and neon the Death Eater's like faces are. And then I'm also in love with the <laughs> head boy and head girl badges. I didn't have I had two Harry Potter badges before that. I had one with like all of the crests on. I got one for Hufflepuff, which I just bought in Waterstones while I was there one day. And everything else is just very, very, very lovely. Also chocolate frog moulds. I'm very, very excited to use those. Okay, so first top, I'm gonna sort of fold this up a bit. No, wait. There. Okay, first top is a free elf top. I'm kind of, I love this top. I really need to say I'm kind of because 
I just love this job. <laughs> Dobby, he seems like quite a nuisance in the second book, where I'm at. I know he's a very, very good character and he's very kind. So he's a very lovely, good boy. And I'm just loving him. This is just such a good top. It's also like really, really good. Like, I was expecting good quality from this box. But it's just super soft feeling. It's really, really nice and hasn't even been in the wash yet. So this is going to be a great one. I don't know if I'll wear this that often or if I'll just sleep in it, but it's very good and I love it. Okay, second top, as I mentioned, is the Death Eater top, which is like all the bright neon colours. Uh, I can't get this to do what I want it to. <laughs> but yeah, it's got all the bright neon colours for the Death Eaters and stuff, and I just love this. This one I'm probably going to wear a bit more than the free elf top, I don't know. I love them both equally, but I might wear one more than the other. I have a lot of tops though, so I need to get rid of like several of them, but at least I think are going to stay in my collection permanently. <laughs> and really not a lot I can say about this, just the fact that I love this design and the fact that it's super super bright and vibrant really adds something different because Death Eaters you don't think of neon colours. <laughs> you think of sort of drab dreary things and this is really really fun. Okay, third item. This one I have taken out of the packaging, but this one was a, I believe I said it was a Geek Box exclusive, I've completely forgotten. But this one is often exclusive to the box, you can't get this apparently from what I can see. And it is a print of um, the magazine, if I'm remembering rightly from what I've been hearing, Luna's Dad's Right, The Quiddler, and it's just about Harry Potter. Now, I don't know if you can actually read what's inside. I kind of want to try and take it apart and see it, but I also kind of want to keep it in this case. <laughs> so that's my current cu current dilemma. But I love this. The case is really, really like sturdy and stuff. It seems really good. And the print looks really, really good quality. Also, it's not in the box, I promise. This is supposed to look as good as... This isn't supposed to be like that. This is supposed to look like as sort of... I want to say grimy, but I don't think that's quite the right word, but it looks like it's very used and worn but i promise that's just because it doesn't come out the box that's the plastic that's protecting it it's printed like that i swear okay next thing ah geek gear that's it that's a geek gear exclusive it's just on the back of this box <laughs> i'm a terrible person i really should do my research but i have head girl and head boy pins the head girl pin i kind of want to put on my pin badge i don't know if i'm going to put that on my pin bag or not or i might keep both these in the box and just display them the way they are but as you saw in the magazine, you can get each different house for this. And I'm very glad they gave me the Hufflepuff ones. I don't think I'd buy these usually if I was out, because I don't think of myself anywhere being somewhere like a head girl or anything like that. But these are really, really nice. I'm going to actually open the box just to show you guys, because you can't quite see it properly in here. Right. <laughs> so professional. Okay, on the back of the pin, it's really, really small, so I'm going to try and get up as up close as I can and pray this is in focus but it's got the tiny words here for geek box or yep geek box and as you can see it's secured by like the one little fastener at the back i would have preferred two pins for this just because of the size but that's just me but it's like a really nice sort of brassy color and i love the yellow they've used um because it's a really really nice hufflepuff color but it's really really good it's quite thick as well like i've never seen head boy or head girl pins until this box, so I didn't think they'd be like as large as they are, especially if you like put it on your body or anything. But is it they're really really good? They're very sturdy, especially like the little bit at the bottom here. I'd be very nervous about this breaking off, but it's very sturdy, it's all good. I'm just gonna keep them in the box because I'm terrified about ruining them. But that's lovely. I'm gonna keep these in the case. So they can so they can continue to be prestigious and perfect, and I love these. Okay, guys, and also with the huffle, oh, yeah, with the head boy and head girl pins, every single box you kind of saw it earlier, but you've got the top of each house: so Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, and Hufflepuff. And so just little details like that, that I really love about this box because they include like every single thing and I think it would be quite hard because I like the way they've done this on every box as well because it would be quite hard to do like every single box individually for each different person or some people because there was an option, I didn't mention this, but there was an option to just sort of get anything so you didn't choose exact house but that's quite a, a fun thing I like about this. Okay, so second and last item is a handmade house banner. This is very 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 cute. I've already opened this, I know what it looks like inside, but I love this already. I'm probably going to hang this on my door if I can, I don't really know where I'm going to put it. 
Oh, they will find somewhere for it. Oops, a little bit going in. Now, with the print, it's not as large, I think, as I remember it being. I don't know. That's my brain now. But slightly on this, and I know it's not supposed to, but with this, it slightly looks like a puppy. This doesn't look like a badger, it looks like a puppy. <laughs> but it's very hard to get the shading right on this when the colours you're only using are yellow, black and white. But I do love this, it's a very very nice size. Like I don't quite know if I'd want this bigger or smaller but I do love it the size it's currently at. And I'm gonna, as I've said, hang this on my door probably and I will love this for my life because I'm a tiny Hufflepuff girl and I'm very happy to be in a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Oh, actually, that's a question I'd like you guys to answer. Comment your um, Hogwarts house down below, and also your Patronus. I haven't taken the Patronus quiz yet because I'm very, very nervous. I'm going to get an animal I hate, so I'm trying to sort of put that off for as long as I can. But if I get you guys that want me to, I will let you know in the next Harry Potter video what my Patronus is. The last item we have here is some chocolate frog moulds. I went a little bit crazy when I opened the box for this <laughs> because chocolate frogs and Harry Potter are the best things ever. And I just kind of, I've never actually had any like official chocolate frogs, so I'm very excited to try some of these and also make my own. And they come with these cute little recipe cards, I wasn't aware they were going to come with anything like this. But you've got one for chocolate frogs where I think you can make, off the top of my head, solid ones, um, salted caramel ones, and hazelnut, that's the other one. This one sort of folds out, so you put this like together, and keep all the chocolate frog bits there, but it's like the front middle section gives you all the recipes i think the first page is the hazelnut and the second page is the salted caramel ones and that's quite good and then just on the back of this you've got a cute little print which tied off with harry potter's glasses and his scarf and then i'm not a big fan of this but i will give it a try it's a tiny pumpkin pie recipe with a harry potter bolt scar on it and this is the front page this is the full recipe on the back but by this, look at this recipe, I haven't made them yet, but these look like sweet pumpkin pies. I don't like pumpkin all that much, and at the minute because it's March, I'm not definitely going to use them just yet. But I will save these recipe cards and everything we've got in the box, and I'll use them when I can really, because <laughs> they're so fun and I love everything. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry this is like a lot faster than um, all my other videos, at least while I'm filming it, it feels like it is. But I'm trying to do this for the race against time, against the natural light, because it is coming back around for summer, but also it still gets dark quite early. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really, really plan on trying to get my videos out a lot more. As soon as I get the March box, which is going to be towards the end of March unfortunately, but I will get that filmed out and put up as soon as I can. I am going away like towards the end of March, but <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, and then the other box I mentioned earlier, the limited edition box of 1000, I'm hopefully going to get that the middle of April, so those videos should come out um, sort of very close to each other. I plan on doing a schedule a bit more. I laugh as I say that because we all know that's not going to happen. But thank you so much for watching again, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will try to upload a bit sooner, I promise. See you next time, guys.